I remember meeting him when he was teaching Sunday school and I actually was sitting there as he was teaching and I was thinking, hmm, he's cute. And just as I thought that, he got sidetracked in his lesson and was saying, by the way, if any of you ever want to see a picture of my nephew, I'll totally show you, but back to the lesson. So I used that to get in and I was like, I want to see a picture of your nephew. When she came up and talked to me after my lesson, I was, I was almost a little bit intimidated. I didn't expect anybody to come up and talk to me. She asked me about pictures about my nephew. And after that, I just around church was inviting him to come to choir and I wouldn't leave until he came. This pretty girl walks up to you and starts talking to you and you're just like, wait, <laughs> what's going on here? After meeting the singles ward and we started talking a little bit, uh, she friended me on Facebook. And I was like, oh good, now I don't seem like a stalker. I'm good. <laughs> and we started messaging back and forth on Facebook and neither of us had the other one's phone number. And we just saw each other around church and we started this conversation where she would message me in the mornings on her way to school when she was riding the light rail and say, hey, are you on the light rail? Because I'm pretty sure there's a guy here that looks just like you. And I always saw this guy on the light rail that looked like him and he was wearing sunglasses all the time and I was like, are you a secret agent following me? And I was doing this over Facebook and also because I just really wanted to keep talking to him. And and so I asked her this, and I was really nervous to ask her this. Um, and then he's like, no, 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 don't tell my secret. Um, I'll take you out to dinner instead. I, I really didn't know if Breck was just looking for a friend and someone to talk to, and then all of a sudden this friend is going to ask her out on a date, or if she was looking for, for a date. Um, so I ask her, she doesn't get on Facebook too often, turns out, so two days later, she actually responds to me. And me not responding for three days kind of scared him. Um, <laughs> so then I was like, oh no, yes, I would love to go to dinner, and sorry, I haven't been on Facebook. And I'm terrified that she's, she's already, she's like creeped out and never gonna talk to me again. Um, so. Um, <laughs> I had this plan, I, I didn't want to do something like dinner in a movie, so I decided we would go to the aquarium out in uh, Arizona Mills. And so I got tickets and I came out here, I picked her up, we drove out there to go, we walk in and they're closed. <laughs> we had just missed it by 10-15 minutes. So I wasn't sure what else to do, so we ended up going to Old Spaghetti Factory at Chandler, in Chandler Mall. And um, it actually took us a while to order because we were just talking so much. I brought a little jar of questions just to get to know someone. And we just kept talking and talking and the waiter came like three times saying, are you ready for your order? And we're like, oh wait, yeah, um, no. And <laughs> we kept back to looking at the menu. So our very first date, we were just really successful getting to know each other. And we have lots of similarities in our past. And so it was lots of fun. <laughs> Maybe we were flowers Soaking up every ray sun To grow one inch closer To one another Or maybe we were songbirds Flying high upon the wind And every night in the trees I'd sing you sleep Whatever the truth is, one thing's for sure I've got a timeless place for you in my heart How I could love you this much, I don't know But there's this ageless feeling that tells me more and more I must have loved you before Maybe I was the ocean And you were the sandy beach And every minute I was falling at your feet Maybe you were the moon Oh, and I was just 
just the dark living in your sweet light Thanking God I was where you are They say love is eternal Well I guess they must be right Cause I've got a timeless place For you in my heart How I could love you this much I don't know There's this ageless feeling Tells me more and more I must have loved you before Whenever you kiss me Well it feels like coming home I've got a timeless place For you in my heart How I could love you this much Baby, I don't know But there's this ageless feeling That tells me more and more I must have loved you before and There's this ageless feeling That tells me more and more I must have loved you before it's a big story, not necessarily a lump, big story. It was supposed to be a girls' night with my cousin because she's leaving on her mission. Um, she's gone now. And he knew that I really loved my cousin so much and he wanted her to be a part of this. So she told me that she was kidnapping me away from Randy and that it was going to be a girls' night. And she even made me a cake like months after my birthday saying it was a late birthday cake. And later I realized why it was in the shape of a heart. Um, <laughs> So then she also invited another cousin over last minute who had no idea what was going on either. But um, then all of a sudden she just came up and she's like, Breck, I want to go see the stars before I leave for my mission. Because that's something I've always loved to do. Randy and I have done it. She and I have done it. And so I was like, yeah, totally. And my cousin Tori, the other cousin and I, were just waiting and waiting for Katie then, because later we found out she had said it too soon. So she went into the bathroom and was just texting, saying, are you ready, are you ready? And we're like banging on the bathroom door saying, Katie, come on. And it took her like 10 minutes in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, so then we came out and we're walking down the road. And I see a bunch of like, land, like lighted bags, so this little trail down by the river, but we're a bed and breakfast guest ranch, so I thought it was just for the guests. I, I set up these stations, and I had seven or eight of them starting out with our first date. And it talked about the things that I learned about her while we were dating, the things I fell in love with while we were dating, and uh, different attributes about her. So there was the, the first date where I learned we had things in common and where we could talk and we could laugh together. Um, we took a trip to Flagstaff uh, and saw, so Brett could see snow for the first time. And I, I learned that we could have fun together and, and be around each other. Like the very first stop was two plates of spaghetti from the spaghetti factory. And um, just a so many reasons why he loved me. And then the next stop was covered in snow that he had made because we went to see snow together and then just all these stops and one made me cry when he mentioned the surgery and um, then it led down to the river, this candlelit path. And so at the last one, when she comes down the staircase, a candlelit staircase, um, there's the last page lying on the ground and, and it said, uh, there, there's many more things than what I could put in this book uh, to tell you why I fell in love with you. But there's just one more thing I need to say dot 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 and I came down out of the shadows and, and asked her to marry me and as he's saying this I had already been wearing a fake ring and so uh, as he's kneeling down I like take off that ring and put it on the other hand and um, then he, I said yes and he got up and gave me a hug and I was kind of thinking a hug wait what no kiss and so I kissed him and he's like wow <laughs> and, and she said yes <laughs> 
I remember he asked me before my surgery if we could be boyfriend girlfriend and I told him no. Like I've been hearing all these things, she may forget someone, she may do this and that. And so I was scared I didn't want to be in any relationship under any pressure after my surgery. And so I told him no and um, explained why and he's like okay. And that's all he said was okay and I was kind of surprised. He was there every day even though the very first day he only got to see me five minutes after I came out. That just really showed that he had such patience and I loved that. And then I don't really remember when I wrote it but I know I wrote in my journal twice I hope to marry this guy before we actually had our talk, like where do you see our relationship going? My, my faith and my religion is very important to me and when I started dating Breck and I realized that this was a girl that not only went to church on Sunday with me but also had the same faith that I did. It, it was a very, very big point and it was something I could see that I, I wanted to have in a wife and in a long-term relationship. One thing I really love about Randy is his patience. Um, especially once again after my surgery, I have such a hard time remembering words. My memory is a little difficult. And Randy is so patient, he doesn't try to finish the sentences for me. He just sits there and he says, it's okay. It's okay, and if I remember the word half an hour later, he's like, oh yay, good job, like, no, it's fine. I love the way that Breck makes me feel. Um, how, how she makes me feel that everything's gonna be okay, that no matter what happens, we're gonna get through it. Um, she makes me feel happy and better about any situation that comes up. Um, I know that she's there to support me, whether it was through, through school or work or church, and that she would always be there, there for me. Smile